Hi, welcome to Will You Adventures. I'm Angelique and I'm here with Tanner Curlin at the Dancing Bear Appalachian Bistro here in Townsend, Tennessee. Look at this fabulous place, this wonderful man. Share with us about this exclusive lodge and bistro. So my favorite part of the Dancing Bear Bistro itself would have to be the location because if you think about it, it's hidden away in the peaceful mm -hmm. side of the Smokies and towns in Tennessee. Not many people know about it. And then if you look at behind me on the deck, we actually build around the trees on property just to kind of give you a exclusive into the woods touch. Yes, and I see that there's some beautiful outdoor seating out here as well. Lovely. Yes, tell us about that. Tell us about your, you have indoor, outdoor, you of have course. events and things like that. Yes, we are all the time having weddings, wedding rehearsals, wedding receptions. We're having birthday parties, we're having annual friends and family gatherings that want to come yearly mm -hmm. and then we're always having business groups if you want to have business events come in during the day we have open availability of course since we're not open from Monday to Tuesday or Wednesday through Sunday in the mornings so that gives flexibility for people that want to come in and build a business um, kind of like academic school in the woods so sure. that's what kind of makes it a little bit different in that experience and then of course we've got a lovely new bar addition that we just added right after COVID hit in uh, 2020. So that's going to be beautiful. It's now a eight by four bar and before that it was just a one row of four. Mm -hmm. So we completely upgraded that. That's as well. excellent. Tell us a little bit about your food and about your chef. Yes, so we actually just transitioned into a brand new chef. His name's Jeff Carter. He actually came from Colorado and then he has been in the blackberry family several times in and out so he definitely knows the appalachian culture when it comes to appalachian cuisine mm -hmm. my favorite thing on the menu has always been and will probably ever be the beef tenderloin because it's an eight ounce center cut piece of uh, wagyu beef you can't go wrong with that add a little bit of roasted mushrooms house made steak sauce whole grain mustard mashed potatoes and broccolini and you're just in the deal but if you want to try a little bit of something different we've got the seared sea bass coming from North Carolina with a little bit of creamy grits on the base some kale greens blistered tomatoes and asparagus and then we're going to top it off with a little bit of smoked tomato broth at the table Ooh, wow oh, yeah do you Good light stuff. that on fire? How do you smoke that broth at the table? <laughs> oh, no. We, we just, it's smoked in our smoker. So we're smoking it itself. House smoked. And then it's coming, yeah, it's house nice. smoked in the smoker. Mm -hmm. Actually, the gentleman in the back loved that smoker, so we actually use that a lot. It's a fun time. Great. I've always admired how creative you are. All of your food is just, you just try new things, new ways of applying foods in just surprising plates and surprising drinks. So we actually have a signature cocktail. It's the Man in Black. It's a smoking old fashioned. We're using black walnut, simple syrup, and sorghum mixed in with our Dancing Bear Appalachian Bistro Buffalo Trace Barrel that we bought ourselves. We buy one every year, so that gets incorporated into some of our cocktails each year. Um, and then it, it gets smoked in a cloche that we're using that's gonna have hickory wood and then we're using a like a blowtorch to blow it to smoke it up in a cloche and then it just smokes up and then we present it to the table and open it up and i always like to say make a wish when you open it just to kind of put a little touch on there and then the smoke covers their face and then it's inside the drink for the rest of the night. Now what's for dessert? Tell Desserts, us about your desserts. So my favorite is, if, especially if you're coming to the bistro and you're having a really healthy, hearty meal, would be the light and easy vanilla bean creme brulee because you can't go wrong with that. Everybody knows that the creme brulee is gonna be good because it's a pretty consistent dish, but then we also one up everybody with a little bit of fresh whipped cream and macerated strawberries as well, so some good stuff we have some fun stuff in store for us tonight when we have our dinner don't we oh yeah don't <laughs> looking you worry. forward to it we got you taken care of on yes. that side so if if a person comes out and has a fabulous meal and says oh i just wish i could stay here do you have any options to help them with that of course we actually have 21 cabins on property right now looking to make a 22nd 
as soon as we get it re-innovated to the way we want it. And then from then on, we re-innovated 18 of the 21. So all the ones that you basically can get in touch with are going to be very upscale, newer, and classier looking cabins. And then on the outside, it really looks like it should be in the woods. So it's not in the inside, you wouldn't even be able to tell you're in the woods. We call it glamping. So we have fun out here. All right. Don't yes. Worry. <laughs> yes. Rustic on the outside, elegant mm. on the inside. I like that. Perfect. Look at now it. you have lots of opportunities here for events as well. Could you describe the different areas where you have events? Yes. So we have the inside dining room that you could use, which would be the bistro. You can layer that however you want to. We have a bar that you can use to assess with that. And then you move on to the next room. It would be a covered patio that opens up windows. So you've got an open up room, essentially inside, outside. It's one of my favorite sections. And then on the outside patio, like we're looking at right behind me, you've got a full spread that you can use just about anything on. You can put big groups, you can put the like hors d'oeuvres pass table out there, you can put the, the cake table out there or the dance floor of course mm -hmm. if you want to have a party. And then we move on to the outside part that we call the landing, that's the covered part of the, pa of the outside. So that works even if there's rain or shine, we can take care of you, we can have a reception under there, it's big enough for that. So you're good to go no matter what. And then we also have a beautiful venue to my right here that is made for the reception itself. And everybody loves that one. You've got a beautiful art that you can get married under and it's just a good time. So. Sounds wonderful. <laughs> well, if you ever get married, I can't wait to see the photographs of, of you out course. there underneath the arch. <laughs> I do have a lovely girlfriend that maybe will happen soon. So Woohoo! We'll have to celebrate. <laughs> Thank Sounds you. good. Thank you so much for having us today and we are looking forward to having some fantastic dinner. <laughs> Great. We appreciate you coming in and we look forward to treating you correctly and you guys are going to have a beautiful time. Never had a bad meal here, <laughs> never had a bad experience here. It's just a pleasure to come here, even right. if one lives in Knoxville, which is close by. Exactly. This is a vacation away from home. Mm. It is its own little respite. Yeah, Thank we you. like to call it the peaceful side of the Smokies. Tell us where people can find you online. DancingBearLodge.com. Thank you so <laughs> much for having us. It's a pleasure to be out here. Thank you. It was a pleasure to have you too. For more information about programs, projects, and adventures with Angelique, explore willyougrow.com. If you or your company are interested in inspiring our mutual audience by sponsoring our adventures, let's talk about it. Boost viewer confidence and trust in your company. Call 1-833-WILL-YOU, then press extension number 6. Find more great adventures. Follow at Will You Adventure on YouTube and Facebook.